guys, what's up? This is JRP77 with JG and Games, and I'm going to be continuing my tutorial series that I started yesterday on how to make um, game assets for your 3D or 2D game. So, but this one's focused on 3D games mostly. So, last time what we did was I'm going to open up Blender and open up my chess piece. You can see we have this beautiful chess piece, but it has 65,000 vertices. We don't want that. So, we are going to go into the retopologizing and unwrapping stage today. So, what retopologizing is, is basically taking every single face and making it, like, taking all the faces and reducing them to, like, let's say, some, a reasonable number. Like, a thousand. That's a reasonable number. And so, the re way I found easiest for anybody to retopologize is to do this. So, what we do is we are going to export this there's two ways we can do this there's one for more complex models and one for easy models like ours that we have here so because we've done I'm going to show you guys how to do this first the more complex version first because you kinda need to know it if you're making like a character or something so first we're just going to go to file export STL and we're just going to call it chesspiece.stl export bring into here now what we're going to be using for the more complex version is MeshLab, and it's just an open source um, mesh. Um, I guess you can model in it, but I, it has a very good mesh um, filters, well, like um, for reducing me edges and stuff like that. So I've already downloaded it, and I'm going to use it. So I'm going to go to my chess piece at STL, and it automatically knows it's a MeshLab type of document. So I'm going to double click to open it. I'm going to open it. I'm opening it off a disk image, that's why it's telling me that. Come into here, hit Unify, Duplicated Vertices, hit OK, and there we go. Now, to navigate around, it's very simple. It's no mouse wheel. Mouse wheel actually zooms in and out, but to rotate, it's these arrows, and you just grab on one of them and rotate. Okay, so what we do for, so now we have this in here, it's going to take us a long um, it's not going to take us that long, but it's a little more complex. So we're going to go up to Filters, um, Remeshing, Simplification, and Reconstruction, and then going down to Quadratic, Edge, edge Collapse, Decimation, Tongue Twister, all these names. Click on that, and we want to set this to something like 1,500. And hit Apply. And it's going to do take, take its time, and there it is. So that is... Um, a retopologized model. It's only 1,500 faces, 75, 754 vertices. But you'll notice that all these edges are kind of. Tr it's turned them into triangles. And this is fine if you're on making a character or something like that. But for this, this is so simple that it doesn't. Re the triangles are going to prevent it from being unwrapped correctly. So we are not going to use this version. The other version is built into Blender. Now, this does not work as well for more complex objects with um, sculpting and stuff like that. This works best on stuff like this, a chess piece. All I'm going to do is go to my modifiers tab on the side and my properties, and I'm going to click on add modifier, decimate. Now, this is basically just teach tells you tells it what to collapse. So I'm going to go to unsubdivide and hit six iterations because that's what worked best. Now that works that looks and works great, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna hit apply. So now we don't have to okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin that's our retopologized model. But you'll notice that it has all of these um it's it lost some of its details. So we are going to re add some of these details back in. So we're gonna hit tab, go to front view, and we're gonna start grabbing some of these vertices. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna hit shift alt. I mean just Alt, yes, and then we're going to go over to Shading UV and hit Mark Seam so that it selects a ring. If it doesn't select a ring like that, just hit on several different vertices. Sometimes it doesn't work. So I'm just going to continue doing this for, so see, like right here, it doesn't do it all the time. Now, then I'm going to hit Mark Seam, and then Mark Seam, and I'm basically doing it on all the stuff where something changes. Mark Seam, and so... Like right here, we can skip some. If it changes dress, and like I'm just doing this so that I'm trying to do it quick. So, and this should not on this model, it should not take long whatsoever. Like as you can see, I 
I'm already done with the base. So now we need to do the top. And the top is a little more complex, but shouldn't take that much longer. So I'm going to go to the tops by hitting 7. And then I'm going to go into 5 so that I can see orthographic view and it looks, and I can see the vertices better. Now we're going to select a ring around. Now I found this big ring to be easiest to do. So I'm just going to select this ring and hit um, let's try doing this because I found it's very hard. You have to select every single vertice, or you could just do stuff like th yeah. Let's just do stuff like this. Let's do a small ring. Small rings always um, the smaller the ring, the better. But it doesn't matter really. So now we're just going to select one, two, three, four off this side, and then on the same on the other side, we're going to hit one, two, four. The model's kind of rotated, so wasn't exact but it does not matter we're going to jump out of orthographic view I just need that to see the vertices now we are going to select the rest of the vertices going down towards the base so I'm going to, oh gosh I'm going to select, shift click on all of these vertices down to right there then I'm going to get to the other side zoom out a little bit and shift click all on all of these vertices down to right there now I'm going to hit mark seam now I'm going to hit A twice, and then I'm going to hit go into my UV editing and hit U unwrap. And so now that's a UV unwrap. So what the UV unwrap does is it allows this is basically where the texture is going to be placed on the model. Now we need this for also the roots apologizing stage. So now we've UV unwrapped it. We're going to create a new image. Now this width and height I'm just going to name it NRM for normal. Now this width and height actually um, determines like how bit how detailed you want the normals to be. I'm going to use 2,000 by 2,000, not 200. 200 would be so so. I'm going to use 2,000. Then I'm just going to hit OK. You need to do that step. That's it. Took me forever to figure out what was wrong. I actually had to refilm this tutorial because I could not figure out what was wrong with that. So now we've got that. I'm going to go. I'm going to shift command S and I'm going to save this not as chess piece I mean, by hitting shift command S I'm saving as so I'm just going to hit underscore R E T O P O now I've got this I'm going to save as a blender file now in this retopo version we need to get the normals so that's what's going to run our details like you can see it's lost a lot of the detail right there and some of you guys will be saying well why didn't you um make the really low quality in the first place and then you just do normal as the answer is if you model it high quality it's much easier to go to a, it's much easier to make normal ma maps from a higher quality mesh rather than make them yourselves because normal maps are a weird color if you've ever seen normal maps before they're like this purple and blue and making them in photoshop would be incredibly hard unless somebody's made a plugin for it if, then i don't know I know there's an NVIDIA plugin for Photoshop, but like a, where you paint. But any, besides the point, now we need to get our original model in here by hitting File, Import, STL, and we're just going to use the STL file. Now we're going to, while that's selected, we're going to shift click on the other model. So this model is active. Then we're going to go to Render, and we're going to go all the way down to Bake. Now you should be on Blender Renderer when you're baking, and that's just my opinion. Now we're gonna go in this bake. In this, so we got some several settings here. There's this bake mode, and we need that to sit, set to normals because we're making normals. Bake to for multi-res should be unchecked. Normal space should be changed. It. Bake to vertex color. It's just based on the colors of the vertices. Clear. I like using 26 for the clear. For the I mean. Clear needs to be selected, and margin needs to be selected as well. I mean, margin needs to be like 26. That's the margin. And then we're going to go selected to active. That's the only... And then we just simply hit bake. And we're going to wait for a few minutes as it bakes. I think it's done now. So we're going to go back into our UV editing, and you'll see we have a normal map. Now, we're going to need to save this image so that we can have these normal maps. So I'm going to hit image... Save as image, normal.png. Now, if we go into our folder, um, our tutorial folder, you'll notice that we have 
this. This is our retopologized mesh. It has all of our details on it. Now that is what we needed. Now that we have that, we are actually going to begin texturing in our next tutorial. Sadly, I don't want to do texturing in this tutorial. Um, I want to do it on a completely different tutorial so that you can have time to review this and not have to jump directly into the texturing. So thanks for watching, guys. This was a fun tutorial on a fun and quick tutorial on how to retopologize our chess piece and use the normal baking to make our model. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna save. Next video will be do doing texturing and finishing up the models. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.